What's going on guys? Thomas from My Scent CIs. Today we'll be doing a review on a fragrance from the House of Kamara called Contra Men Only Intense. If you're interested, interested in this review, stay tuned and we'll get right to it. Welcome back guys, uh, for my returning subscribers, we appreciate you. For my new subscribers to the channel, uh, we welcome you. Uh, on my channel we discuss all things fragrance, whether that be fragrances online or at your local rack room stores. And your local rack room stores are Burlington, Marshall, TJ Maxx, and Ross. Because believe it or not guys, you can find great quality fragrances at a good price at these locations. Now today, we'll be doing a review on a fragrance from the House of Kamara. And that fragrance is Contra. I know some of you guys been seeing them at the rack room stores. Uh, it's three of them in rotation and I have all three. But this one right here guys, this one is perfect for the season that we in right now. Fall and winter. This is an Ode perfume, uh, 3.4 ounce, 100 ml. This is the presentation. Got a nice little leather uh, strip running down the side. That's the name of the house. Uh, you know, Ode perfume, the ounce, 100 ml, 3.4 ounce. You know, a nice little sleep bottom cap snaps into place pretty good got a nice little charm right here on the side you know the presentation is nice I say now the other good thing about this this uh, bottle you know it's the atomizers check out the atomizer guys Not just a great atomizer, but a, a great fragrance as well. Now, on the initial blast, you get plenty of that iris. It's a powdery spice uh, explosion as soon as you, you press down on the atomizer. And this is, uh, this fragrance right here puts me in the mind of, uh, you know, you getting clean, stepping out. Uh, whether that be you're going to a, a formal event, uh, a date night, uh, a casual event. This fragrance right here puts me in a, like I say, in the mindset of, you know, stepping out, you getting clean, you know, cleaning up. When you step in the room, they go see you and smell you. That's what this fragrance put me in the mind of. Now I also got this fragrance is a clone to Gentleman Givenchy or that perfume. Uh, I don't have that fragrance so I don't know uh, how precise they are with the cloning or the scent DNA to that fragrance. But a lot of people say that they're precise with it. It's a head-on uh, clone to the to the gentleman, uh, Javinci, the Ode Parfum uh, version. Uh, but I must say, uh, Kamara did a, a, a wonderful job on this fragrance. It, it doesn't smell. Uh, the price you're paying for it. I picked this one up at TJ Maxx for $14.99. And guys, they still have plenty of them in rotation. Uh, my past uh, visit to the rack room stores, TJ Maxx and Marshall, I've been seeing this one. Uh, they also have a clone to the, uh, the Marley house. Uh, the fragrance of uh, Pegasus, I think. Uh, 
that bottle was like a all chrome reflector type and they have another one that's a clone to uh armani stronger with you and they did a wonderful job on all three of those like i said i have all three of them uh, i will be doing a review on the other two so stay tuned for those uh, but back to this one like i say the price that i paid for this one 14.99 can't beat it guys i'm talking about far as the quality of the fragrance uh the performance of the fra fragrance <laughs> hey these ua these uae houses are giving uh these designer fragrances oh excuse me and some of these niche fragrances competition guys you know at a fraction of the price uh, i think the gentleman uh da vinci or their perfume uh i think you can pick it up for about a hundred dollars you know maybe if you find it at uh uh online you know there's some of the websites fragrance.net uh i forget the other one you probably can get it 85 you know 80 dollars or so but once again if you run across this one at tj maxx or marshall's like i say for the fraction of the price you can get that same scent dna $14.99 guys you can't beat it and like I say the, the scent profile the quality the performance of this one now I don't know if uh, the Da Vinci gentleman EDP has this type of atomizer on it look at that And the quality of the fragrance, guys, I'm telling you. Kamara did a great job with this one. It really did. It's a grown man scent. You know, but I'm gonna go over some of the notes on this fragrance. Okay, guys, I found some of the notes. I found the notes. So, your head notes are bergamot lime black pepper and lavender heart notes are iris clove cinnamon jasmine base notes are vanilla tonka bean uh, tulip balsam benzoin and patchouli those are the notes that i found online listed for this uh fragrance and they're pretty much uh almost as exact as the gentleman javinci edp uh guys i know a lot of people have found this and uh, uh are familiar with it for those that have and that have smelt the gentleman uh edp let us know in the comments if it's an exact clone to that fragrance or what you think of it like I say, because I don't have that fragrance in my collection. I had a uh, Da Vinci uh, Gentleman Society, I think. Uh, but guys, this I think it's worth picking up if you don't have uh, the EDP, the Gentleman Da Vinci in your collection. And if you're a fan of the Irish, because it is a prominent uh, note in this fragrance. Like I say... On the initial blast, you hit with a powdery uh, spice. Then in a the dry down, you're hit with uh, the sweetness, uh, the vanilla, uh, the tonka bean. You pick up the cloves. Well, I pick up the cloves, the cinnamon. That's where the spices come in. The black pepper, a little of the jasmine. Uh, but like I said, the performance on this is good. I wore it to work 
And I think that day I might have worked nine hours or so. And the fragrance was still on me. So you're looking at anywhere from nine to 10 hours. And it depends on what environment you into as well. Like I, I work in a warehouse, so I'm exposed to the elements, you know. I think the day that I wore, the temperature might have been uh, 70 degrees or so. Uh, but it performed uh, well. Uh, the projection, I say hour, hour and a half. Uh, but yeah, guys, the, the, the performance of this fragrance is, is great, especially for the price that you're paying. Price you're paying for this fragrance, uh, I think it's worth adding into your collection. Uh, so if you see it when, you, when you're in a rack room store, TJ Maxx and Marshall, I think it's worth the pick up. Uh, so guys, I appreciate all the support that I'm getting from everybody. Uh, I hope the content that I'm producing is resonating with everyone. I really enjoy getting on the platform and sharing uh, my opinions about the fragrances in my collection. And I value the feedback that I'm receiving from everybody that comments uh, on the videos. I try my best to respond and to reply to the contents, I mean to the comments that uh, I see on the videos because I appreciate it. You know, my goal is to reach 500. I think we're at like 176, 177 right now. Then once we reach the 500, you know, the goal is to get to 1,000. So uh, with you guys help, I'm pretty sure we'll make this happen. Um, like I say, I enjoy doing this content and discussing what it is uh, that I discuss with you guys as far as sharing the fragrances uh, my opinions on them and like I say I value uh, the the feedback I get and you know not to go on and on guys I, I appreciate everybody for tuning in like always please remember to comment like and subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you next time peace Ooh.